Thank you to Surfshark VPN for supporting this PBS video. Kukulu kapahu kapua kaleo he ala hele he ala muku no kane la o kanaloa he ki hoi hoi tana vai. Kale honua mea. She is she who creates and destroys. She is the volcano goddess. She's a living force on this landscape. Kilauea is one of the most active volcanoes on Earth. It's a puzzling, complicated system that only makes itself more complicated by how active it is. Without volcanoes, we wouldn't have Hawaii. Volcanoes are the foundation of our islands. For the last 40 years, Kilauea has been in a state of near constant eruption, providing researchers with a uniquely reliable setting to study one of our planet's most unpredictable and destructive forces. In a time of climate panic and tangible ecological destruction, what can we learn about the survival of our planet from one of the harshest environments on Earth? So Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is 350,000 acres, which stretches from the coast all the way up to 14,000 feet at the summit of Mauna Loa. We are in the Kilauea area, and Kilauea means to spew lava. And so even if you've never been here, but you understand that's what the name means, you know what to expect. Kilauea is a little bit different from sort of the stereotypical pointy cone volcano because it's called a shield volcano. Shield volcanoes form when lava is extra runny and can go really far from the vent where it comes out. Right now it's not erupting, but from 1983 to 2018, that was 35 years of near continuous eruption. And then in 2018, we had a huge eruption and we had what's called caldera collapse. The summit of Kilauea in chunks sort of collapsed in on itself and dropped down about 500 meters, which is about as tall as the Empire State Building. In 2018, large, large sections of this road actually fell into the caldera. The fact that it just one day decided to open up and swallow a huge section of road and then the parts that are still remain, you know, throw around like just like little, you know, uh, tinker toys. Talk about the, you know, kind of the awe-inspiring force that the volcano has. Now that we're in 2023, we've had three eruptions in one year so far, and now we're waiting for the next one. Volcanic gases are one of the main reasons we have volcanic eruptions in the first place. So if you think about a bottle of soda and those explosions that you get if you shake it up too much, those are all driven by those gas bubbles dissolved in the soda. Eruptions are driven by gas bubbles dissolved in magma. We measure sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. And mostly the sulfur dioxide comes out during eruptions, but the carbon dioxide comes out before eruptions. So if we can track that, that can help give us clues about whether or not the volcano is refilling with magma. We want to make sure we're watching the gases and all of the other data all over the volcano because it's not just the summit that's active. Working on an active volcano like Kilauea and always monitoring it is, is almost like being a doctor because the land here really does seem almost alive. You know, if you thought about a volcano as a living, breathing entity and body, gravity is the body mass index. So I use gravity meters or gravimeters to study variations in the acceleration of gravity or the force of gravity that are measurable on the surface but that are being caused by changes in the volcanic system. And gravimetry is the only way to extract that data. It's the only way we have of measuring changes in mass. That first one was 16. That, that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty stable. These instruments can measure one, one billionth of the force gravity that we feel every day. So unbelievably precise. And can I use that as a precursory signal for warning? Can I say, hey, look, we saw a great change in gravity right now, and then 20 minutes later, the volcano erupted. It's still cutting edge, so the question is, I still don't know, but we're, we're trying. The idea is to get to a measurement that is solely unique and is something that tells us about how much actual magma is moving into or out of the system. <laughs> Kilauea 
The chants are hundreds and thousands of years of empirical data. Our ancestors saw an eruption and they noted how the ground opened up. They noted how the flow came, if it was a fast moving flow and a slow moving flow. And we've been fortunate lately to have a partnership with Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and Hawaii um, Observatories because I think we're telling the same story. We're telling it through chant and, and narrative and they're telling it through their scientific record. For a long time, our language and our culture was seen as just fable. And now that we show that our chants and our stories are not just cute little fairy tales, there's value in it, there's lessons in it that we can extract from all of those chants and stories. To start to try to understand how a native Hawaiian forest is constructed over time, that's something that you can find only here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. I was born and raised on this island about 40 miles away from the park, and I always felt like working in Hawaii was much more meaningful and making a difference in this landscape that is super special. This is Nahuku Lava Tube. It was formed about 550 years ago by a river of lava. The top part of the lava flow cooled, but the, the river of lava continued to flow underneath it. The ohia are actually reaching their roots down through the little cracks in the roof of the lava tube, and eventually they'll widen those cracks out. They're breaking down the rock into soil. Eventually they'll transform this lava tube into a forest floor. On an active volcanic landscape, there's cycles of destruction and then there's rebirth following that. The ohia is the catalyst for the rebirth of the forest. Ohia trees are adapted to disperse across the landscape, find little tiny cracks and crevices in the rocks. Ohia trees will actually hold their breath when sulfuric acid is in the air to protect themselves. Not only is it the first pioneer plants on lava beds helps to break down this rock, but it collects water for our islands and gives us fresh water, or spring waters. That's the importance of ohia to us. We're always gonna live with volcanoes, whether it's here in Hawaii or the Pacific Northwest, like Mount St. Helens, Japan, Indonesia, New Zealand. We have to understand them to better live with them and using that information for forecasting eruption and hazard mitigation. Kilauea is anywhere from 200 to 300,000 years old. And that's actually pretty young, geologically speaking. You know, we're about as old as Kilauea uh, as a species. And while we have this long history of observation here, We've just kind of scratched the surface of what we've observed, you know, both scientifically, but then also, you know, kind of culturally. The most potential for discovery are in the most inhospitable environments, because those are the places that are the hardest to study. To be in this place where Pele is very present and alive, to be here is a privilege. You're always subject to the whims of a volcano. You never know when she's going to decide to totally change the landscape on you. This isn't the end of the story. It's an ongoing story with Pele and her dance on the landscape. Thank you to Surfshark VPN for supporting this PBS video. Surfshark VPN is a virtual private network designed to keep your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. Using a VPN when on public Wi-Fi can help provide safety while surfing the internet as well as working from home. A lot of online services use sophisticated targeting and tracking services, but a VPN can provide protection from that. Surfshark's clean web feature is built to block ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts. And if you do a lot of international traveling, Surfshark allows clients to change their virtual location. It has over 3,200 servers in more than 100 countries designed to help make sure you can access your home country's features while traveling. To learn more, click the link in the description.